Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, uh, unmistakable, cool car. You know, when the 69 Camaros were out, uh, they were running around, they were very popular. Then a car like this came out, this Trans Am, and the 69 Trans Am, uh, it was in that series where the Trans Am racing was going on at the time. There's some awesome great footage of these cars running around the track. If you can find that also, maybe we'll get a chance, we'll put some up on our website. But this one here, photo documented, no expense spared restoration, and it is beautiful. And as we walk around this car, I'll show you a couple things that were very expensive to install on here and, uh, and get to this level. For me, uh, the hood on this car is just great. You know, I love the cow induction hood on a, on a Camaro, but this right here is pure Ram air. And uh, this nice little bubble here is uh, the hood tack, and this lights up, and I'll show you that when we, uh, when we go to get around the rest of the car. I'll show you how all that looks, all right? So uh, a couple of nice things also here. Come on up a little bit. Like, for instance, these stripes here, you can't even feel them. Uh, they, uh, you know, the hood's painted, then uh, uh, white, then it's wet sanded, then they lay down the blue paint, then they clear the whole entire car, and that's the way the whole thing feels. And, like, check out the quality of this paint. Look at that, man. You can read every single word on that. If you can't read every single word and see what kind of jacket the guy's using or what kind of camera he's using, uh, that, that paint is suspect. So uh, here I like to make sure that everybody can see that. All new chrome, stainless, uh, trim all around the car, all polished. What we couldn't uh, get, uh, we, we ended up sending out and getting it chromed or we had it repolished uh, if it wasn't available underneath of the car, all done. All right, a couple small things, like check this out. Pontiac rally wheels, power disc brakes inside, PMD caps, check out the marker light. Like that's cool. That's just a neat little piece. Not a big deal to you, but you know what? When uh, I like to ride with the marker lights on because I think they look great. Firebird with the Trans Am call outs, the Ram Air under the hood right there, okay? The gills. Matter of fact, if we could, uh, we'll take a quick peek underneath of this car. Brake lines, hoses, uh, the parking brake. The bent exhaust, it's Flowmaster mufflers, which are not factory correct, but they sound so good, so it's hard not to add those in there. Multi-leaf springs. Now here, uh, and here we've seen, you know, for instance, like a paint job like this, where you do the top and the bottom of the car can cost somewhere around $10,000, because you have to completely disassemble the whole car, okay? So you get into all that there. Like now, let's check out this part. This is beautiful. This is one of the only cars I've ever seen where, uh, I'm sure there's others, but uh, I haven't seen them is where the air filter is actually inside the hood. This is part of the Ram Air system. You know, this uh, Ram Air system right here, if you can gather all the pieces, will run you somewhere around $4,000. Rebuild the engine, another uh, $4,000. Transmission, another couple thousand dollars. The rear end, another couple thousand dollars. You can see where I'm going here is, the detail of everything in here is a very expensive uh, a proposition to undertake and can take you several years to do. In this case here, the car is ready to go. It's what we call turnkey, meaning that we've changed the oil, we've checked all the fluids over, the, the headlights work, the turn signals light uh, work, uh, you know, all the things that uh, you need to have working functionally and properly so that you can enjoy driving this car. So when the car arrives uh, at your house, and keep in mind, our uh, offered price includes free and closed door-to-door -door shipping. Um, so as it <coughs> arrives at your house, the tractor trailer pulls up and you know the neighbors come out, wow, what'd Jimmy get? and this car lowers itself out. And you can just imagine uh, how beautiful uh, this looks as it's coming out of the trailer. You know, the idea is it has a temporary tag on the back and all you do is take whoever it is you wanna go and take them for a drive, all right? Let's take a peek at the detail of the trunk for a second too, because it didn't stop just under the hood. It didn't stop on the outside of the car. It continues on and on and on. We're doing videos in the showroom today, so it's a little bit tight, but uh, I wanted to show you this right here. Check this out. All the decals here, all done. Beautiful jacking instructions, fresh weather stripping, compact spare with inflator. The jack itself is all detailed. The JBL sound great from behind right here. But check out this, this is all painted. Pontiac call out here, just the way the Trans Am was done. I don't know if that's the way it was done, but it doesn't really matter to me because I don't care because this car looks so freaking cool. I love this car. I want you to see real quick up top, the Cameo white paint, the Tyrol blue stripes, and just how uh, as cool as you can, like, can't even feel these things, man. Paint is really, really nice on the car. It's very expensive. It took a long time to do. But let's take a peek inside because although this looks great outside, the under the hood looks great and the trunk looks great, let's peek and see what we have in here. All right, cool. Like, first sign is uh, the footwell lighting is working. All right? 
that may not seem like a big deal to you, but you know, 40 years later, a lot of people's hands have been inside the dash, the doors, and whatever, and wiring gets to be a problem. Here, clearly that the wiring is done correctly because you have your footwell lighting showing, it's on both sides. We know the tack lights up, the headlights work, the turn signals work. And this is kind of cool too. These are uh, uh, set up just like the 69 Trans Am gauges would have been in this pod here. The clock works. And this right here is a little upgraded sound system, uh, AM, FM, and it has a place for an iPod uh, connector if you wanted to put that in there. It's got a 160 mile an hour speedometer. I uh, don't know if it'll hit 160, but it's set up nicely. Beautiful headliner, deluxe interior, Trans Am seats, new door panels, dashes painted, Tyrol blue. This is just a cool car, man. I don't know. For me, just, you know what I love about it is the fact that if you went to a car show in this car, the likelihood of seeing one be very slim. We talked about uh, the money spent on the detail here. Uh, this has the upgraded uh, Ram Air camshaft. Uh, it has the, uh, the uh, Ram Air air cleaner that we talked about uh, for the fresh air with the filter in there, uh, the hood tack. Great sounding dual exhaust. Uh, just a cool, cool piece. I can ramble on and on and on. There's a long list of stuff that's on here. When you walk on in, this is the kind of window sticker that's hanging on our windows here if you decide to come in uh, and all that's there. So, I don't know. If, uh, if you'd like to go to a show and, and kind of be the only one at the show in a car like this, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool piece. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.